get proper CPR. Within 10 minutes of the brain not needing oxygen, brain death is very likely. That is why it's so important to know how to give CPR. The first thing to do if someone faints or collapses is to check the ear for hazards. And then you try to wake them up. You can tap them, yell at them, and rub on their breastbone. And then see if they're breathing. And if they aren't conscious, you call someone over, like a brother, and you tell this person to call 911 and find an AED machine. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate hands only to CPR. So to start this, you use the heel of your hand and put it right between their breasts. And then you lace your fingers into your hand like this. You should do at least 100 compressions a minute and make sure for an adult their chest should go down two inches and wait for it to pop back up before you start the next compressions. And you should do compressions to the beat of Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. Death from sudden cardiac arrest is not inevitable. If more people knew CPR, more lives could be saved. About 75% to 80% of all out-of-hospital cardiac arrests happen at home, and 94% of sudden cardiac arrest victims die before reaching the hospital. Effective bystander CPR, provided immediately after cardiac arrest, can double a victim's chance of survival. Approximately 95% of sudden cardiac arrest victims die before reaching the hospital. Only 27.4% of out-of-hospital sudden cardiac, cardiac arrest victims receive bystander CPR. Cardiac arrest occurs twice as frequently in men compared to women. There has never been a case of HIV transmitted by mouth-to-mouth -mouth CPR. If CPR started within 4 minutes of collapse and defibrillation provided within 10 minutes, a person has a 40% chance of survival. Survival is less than 6% worldwide average. <laughs>